Welcome to Around the Weird. Here's your host, the museum curator of the strange and unusual, Mr. Nothing. Thank you, Mysterious Voice, and welcome back to Around the Weird, a booktube channel where I talk about all the unusual and out-of-the-ordinary literature that I have found in my travels. And today it is once again Poetry Thursday, so I look forward to discussing some weird or maybe normal poetry uh, that I've stumbled across. Uh, and I have, a, I have a pretty good one today. I am once again talking about LGBTQA poems during this period of pride. Uh, not simply uh, just June, but over the past two weeks and probably going into July as well, because I don't simply want to limit, uh, you know, the spotlight and, and also my attention and fighting for the rights of these communities um, in June. Uh, because that would that that would be awful, and so anyone who focuses just on June, you know, you, you got to ask questions about that. And I'm pretty sure I've talked about LGBTQA poets outside of June. I don't know why I'm defending myself here. Uh, the poem that I'm going to talk about is about jealousy and love and those types of feelings. It is "You Love You Wonder" by. Brenda Shaughnessy, um, and that was published pretty recently. Actually, it was published in 1999, but who you knows, that, that, that's recent in a geological sense. For those who don't know, Brenda Shaughnessy is a writer who's been writing for quite some time, mostly doing poetry. Um, I, I think she might have other stories out there that I that I'm not familiar with. Um, she, I'm, I've only been able to find what's on her website, uh, which hasn't really been updated recently. And also, uh, what I could find on on Wikipedia, this is one of those authors who doesn't have a lot of information out there. Uh, but what what else is interesting is that she teaches, um, or she comes from the University of California system, uh, which um, is a system that I'm in. Uh, I work as I work in high education so there's that little connection there it's always interesting to see that uh, but without further ado let's get straight into the poem I will read it uh, do a little bit of an analysis and we will move on from there you love you wonder you love a woman and you wonder where she goes all night in some tricked out taxi cab with her high heels and her corset and her big fat mouth you love how she only wears her glasses with you, how thick and cow-eyed she swears it's only ever you she wants to see. You love her. You want her very ugly. If she is lovely big, you want her scrawny. If she is perfect lithe, you want her ballooned a cosmonaut. How not to love her, her bulabase, her orangina. When you took her to the doctor, the doctor said, wow, look at that. And you were proud, you asshole. You love, and that's how you are in love. Any expert observing human bodies can see how she's exceptional, how she ruins us all. But you really love this woman. How come no one can see this? Everyone must become suddenly very clumsy at recognizing beauty if you are to keep her. You don't want to lose anything at all, ever. You want her sex depilated. You want everyone else not blind, but perhaps paralyzed from the eyes down. You wonder where she goes all night, if she leaves you, you will know everything about love. If she's leaving you now, you already know it. So that was You Love, You Wonder by Brenda Shaughnessy. In terms of analysis, I think it's fairly easy to see what the narrator is getting at in this poem. Uh, they are in a relationship with a woman. Um, I believe because, you know, Brenda Shaughnessy is, is gay. Um, uh, she, like, like this is from a perspective of a, uh, of a, of a you know of, of a gay relationship although it probably doesn't matter i'm probably I, I shouldn't frame everything from that perspective especially here because you can very easily see this as like either a same-sex relationship or a heterosexual relationship it doesn't really matter but uh what, what i really like about it is uh, how it gets at feelings of love but also jealousy and, and and frustration uh because the as the narrator says in the first poem you love a woman and you wonder where she goes all night in some tricked out taxi cab with her high heels and her corset and her big fat mouth and uh, I find that that interesting because you know saying big fat mouth is kind of an insult at times so you know you can love someone and still find point out their faults uh, but as the narrator says like you wonder where she goes with her high heels and her corset and we typically picture you know people who wear that like they're going out they're trying to impress others is the narrator jealous in this situation uh, I, I, I would think so like I, I think the narrator is 
is, is kind of concerned that they might be losing this person. And they even say that at the end of the poem. They say, you wonder where she goes all night. If she leaves you, you will know everything about love. If she's leaving you now, you already know it. And I, I just find that really fascinating because uh, like the, to love someone but to constantly be worried about them leaving you, like that's something that I've dealt with in, in the past. Like and to, know, to be secure in love is, is one thing, but it's so hard to do that, especially when you've experienced like bre breakups and, and heartbreak before. Like you're like, oh no, like maybe this relationship will go wrong. And so when you love someone, you want to keep them and... Uh, like you, you don't want them to like you know go off into the night and and be with other people. Uh, like it, it's it's a very jealous like selfish kind of feeling uh, that some people have said is uh, is the problem with uh, with like uh, monogamy is that we we get jealous and it's not good or anything like that. And I can see that. Um, like I can see the argument for polygamy, but I don't think or polyamory, but I don't necessarily necessarily think that's what Brenda's going for in this poem. Um, I, I do like how she's trying to um, to uh, imp uh, show other people how impressive this woman is. Like she she says, you took her to the doctor, and the doctor said, "Wow, look at that!" And you were proud, <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> and I, I just find that fascinating because, like, like oh, she's like, oh, the doc the doctor is impressed by this woman that I love. That must mean something great, uh, even though you know the doctor <laughs> might not be impressed for the reasons that that she thinks she is. Uh, and also, like, uh, like how she feels about other people seeing this person. Like, they, uh, like they, they don't want the other people blind. They say, you want everyone else not blind, but perhaps paralyzed from the eyes down. So being able to see this woman and, and you know, maybe hear all the beautiful things that she might be saying with her big fat mouth, but not necessarily... Um, not necessarily being able to touch her, go near her, interact with her, uh, which is a kind of sad feeling because, like, if only you are allowed to interact with this person, like, if only you can be around this person, that's a very lonely, kind of isolated life. And you really shouldn't want that with other people. And so ultimately, my question from this poem is, like, is this... Is this what really love is? Like, sure, we've all experienced this, these feelings, but maybe not to this great extreme. And maybe the difference is like, like there's a difference between what love is and what what like obsession is. And this might be more obsession than than what love is. But I definitely understand the feeling. Like everyone admire this person that I'm with. Tell me that they're wonderful. Validate my feelings for her. Uh, validate my feelings for them. Like I I can definitely get that. Uh, but at a certain point, like in this poem, it kind of feels a bit sad and like the jealousy is is overbearing. Uh, but I can definitely see some people who've been in this kind of relationship before. Anyway, those are my thoughts on You Love, You Wonder by Brenda Shaughnessy. Uh, I, I'm, not all of her poems are like this. Um, I This one stood out to me in particular just because the, the, the feelings that came out pretty strong. But that's really the case with every Brenda Shaughnessy poem. And some of her poems are pretty funny. Like, I, I, got, I, I got a chortle or two out of, out of reading her poems. And I do recommend that you check out her other work in addition to this. Because this one kind of leaves you with an impression that might not exactly be there with her other with her other work. I'm going to link to this in the description so that you can find it and read it and, you know, let me know what your thoughts are. Comment below if you, uh, if you want to say something about it or you want to say something about my review. Always fun to talk about uh, poetry with others. And otherwise, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so that more people can find out about Brenda Shaughnessy and this poem and Poetry Thursday if they don't know about those things already. And until then, I wish you the best of luck in your weird and jealous travels. Farewell.